24 physicians on are on an unofficial list of those willing to issue out medical cannabis certifications on Guam, and about five entities have expressed their interest in opening up a lab. According to Roy Adonai, representative of the Guam Board of Medical Examiners seated on the Medical Cannabis Commission, progress continues as they have already made great strides this year. One key component has been garnering the support of local doctors willing to provide certifications to patients who meet the qualifications of medicinal marijuana treatment. Initially, physicians are, are a little bit leery about like, making that kind of certification, but now that there's been some campaign to educate the other physicians in there to make them be aware about the responsibility and to know the fact that their licenses are not actually in danger, those things are actually welcomed very much by the physicians. As mentioned, to date, there are 24 island doctors who have indicated that they are willing to provide these certifications. Adonai says, according to the rules and regulations, they have to be actually licensed practicing physicians here on the island in order for patients who have been certified to actually be able to take advantage of the medicinal marijuana program, which also extends to nurse practitioners who are able to write prescriptions for other medications. But just because your doctor may be licensed, Adonai says that it is more than just walking into your doctor's office and asking for a certification. Bottom line, he says, is to establish a working medical relationship with your doctor. However, one thing stands between a complete medical cannabis program. We are expecting that, that in order for you to actually put up a lab over here, that cost is probably having around a million dollars. Second for that one is that there's also a residency requirement for people to actually put those things together over here. So not anybody can just from the outside come in over here. There's a three-year residency requirement for people, so they need to actually be part of this particular community. At the end of the day, he says it's about ensuring the safety of those participating in the medicinal marijuana program and the safety of the rest of the community as a whole, hence the eventual need for a lab. However, with or without one, residents of Guam can still get certified for their medicinal marijuana card.